When I was eight or nine years old, I remember hanging out with my mom and some of her friends. And I noticed that some of her friends were playing around on a PlayStation. Around 1995 or 1996, PlayStations weren't super common for me to see. So I was super fascinated in what they were doing. I only had about five or 10 minutes to watch, but I noticed they were playing some kind of crazy ass fighting game where monkeys and dinosaurs were beating the shit out of each other, doing crazy ass moves, looking almost like Mortal Kombat. I always wondered what that game was, and it left me thinking, what was that weird ass monkey piss fighting game? This is Primal Rage. Primal Rage is a fighting game developed and released by Atari Games to arcades in 1994. The game takes place in a post-apocalyptic version of Earth called Earth. Players control one of seven beasts that battle each other to determine the fate of the planet. Primal Rage is a traditional 2D fighting game, but unlike most fighting games, where special moves are performed by moving the joystick followed by pressing one or more buttons, Primal Rage features a system where the player holds down certain buttons, then performs joystick movements. Like in Mortal Kombat, the game features fatalities or finishing moves that are performed on defeated foes. While fighting, humans will wander nearby and worship their gods during battle. This allows for creatures to toss them up and devour them to regain strength. The player characters are separated into two types, the virtuous and the destructive. For the virtuous, we have Blizzard, the god of good and virtue. He was frozen in a glacier for a millennia and was released when the meteor hit. He lived high up in the mountains, only descending when threatened. A noble and heroic yeti-like creature, Blizzard wishes to undo the damage done to Earth by the meteor and the warring gods. Sauron, the god of hunger. He is one of the main protagonists. He can dish out the most damage of all beasts, but he's also the slowest. Sauron's immortality only lasts while he devours human flesh, as he suffers from an insatiable appetite. In spite of this, he is not evil, but the anti-hero of the group. Armadon, the god of life. Armadon fights to defend Earth and prevent its destruction from the hands of the evil gods. He's a semi-bipedal dinosaur with triceratop-like head and limbs and a series of spikes on his back. Talon, the god of survival. Talon is the patriarch of a huge family of similar dinosaurs, and he's fiercely protective of them. Talon is the fastest character in the game, and an excellent jumper. Talon is also the shortest character, which means a lot of projectiles miss him. He's the only character without a projectile attack. the destructive we have chaos the god of chaos and decay he was formerly a scientist and a witch doctor that was transformed into his current state by accident and was forcibly imprisoned in his own filth for eons <laughs> Diablo, the god of evil and destruction, the leader of the destructive beasts. This demonic dinosaur wishes to reduce Earth into a nightmarish, magma-fueled hell. 
Vertigo. The goddess of insanity and the only female beast on the roster. She has the longest reach, and the game's plot states that her imprisonment on the moon forced the other beasts into suspended animation until the meteor hit. Vertigo plans to enslave the entire planet, forever making humans into a slave race. The game's development began with a series of production sketches of the fighters, drawn by Jason Leon. Using these drawings as a basis, Dan Platt crafted model figures of the fighters. These models were airbrushed according to Leon's drawings. The animations seen in the game were then filmed using a process of stop motion, and about 400 frames were shot for each character. The game was a major commercial success, though interestingly enough, Atari Games derived more profit from its merchandising than the game itself. Critics seemed to compliment the graphics and sound design, but commonly mentioned unbalanced gameplay. Interestingly, recent efforts to perfectly emulate the arcade original have been unsuccessful due to the use of an unusual code of copy protection. The protection, among many things, causes all blood to be a grayish-brown color, it makes some of the combos impossible, and makes some of the special moves just not work at all. The game had many ports from the arcade, including the 3DO, the Sega 32X, the Amiga, the Atari Jaguar, the Game Boy, the Game Gear, MS-DOS, PlayStation, Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, and the Super Nintendo. In 1996, a parent launched a grassroots campaign against the game after her 11-year-old son accomplished the fatality where chaos urinates on his opponent and dissolves them. The campaign resulted in Best Buy pulling the game from 251 stores nationwide. Primal Rage was a unique and polarizing fighting game that caused a lot of fame and a lot of controversy in the mid-1990s. I recommend trying to find this game at an arcade if they still exist around you on the 33-inch deluxe cabinet. If not, the Super Nintendo version or Genesis version are very, very fun and easier to get a hold of. If you want to see an ape, pound a dinosaur into the ground like a steak and punch its brain out whole. This might be the game for you.